Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Cashmerino Erin by Debbie Bliss. This 55% wool, 33% acrylic, 12% cashmere yarn features 26 colors. The colorway that we chose is number 66, Mustard. This 50 gram skein with 90 meters or 98 yards works up in a medium or Erin weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Cash Merino Erin by Debbie Bliss using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Cash Merino Erin a score of 3.5 out of 5. It is available on a few larger craft websites such as Lovecrafts and Webs in the United States and a few other websites. However, it's not as widely available in other shops as I have found other yarns to be. For softness, we give it a score of 4 out of 5. To be honest, I wasn't blown away with the softness of this yarn, especially since it has a little bit of a cashmere content. I will say that I can feel the wool and maybe even the cashmere a little bit in the yarn, which I believe helps with some of its softness, but I was a little underwhelmed. Although its contents include 55% wool and only 30% acrylic, I would say that this yarn feels and acts more like its acrylic content than the wool and cashmere. If you're not familiar with yarns like acrylic, I recommend watching our synthetic fibers video. Due to its chemical makeup, acrylic can feel squeaky like plastic, and this yarn is no exception, especially after wet blocking. When it comes to breathability, wool is a great fiber for breathability. However, acrylic is a less breathable fiber and it holds on to sweat and moisture, making it less protective from the elements. This may be a more suitable yarn if you plan on using this yarn indoors and in a more temperate climate. For traction, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. Similar to how it feels, this yarn also knitted up like an acrylic yarn. What I mean by this is that it had some grip on my needles, but it also had a tendency to stick to itself. If you're a beginner knitter and aren't accustomed to slippery yarn, this may be a great option to practice with. For most of the time, it knitted up well, but you may experience some difficulty if you need to rip back or frog your work. For durability, we give it a score of 1.5 out of 5. This yarn is a four ply, meaning that four strands of fiber have been twisted together to create this yarn. Generally, the more plies that a yarn has, the more strength it has. This high twist count gives the yarn a very clear stitch definition, which is a desirable quality when knitting cables, for example. Acrylic as a fiber is highly resistant to stretching, which can make it very appealing for making children's garments or gifts. However, do you remember when I said that this yarn felt like acrylic yarn? Well, acrylic yarn is also very prone to pilling, and unfortunately, this yarn is also no exception. While handling my swatch and working with it, it had already begun to pill up on both sides. This could also be in combination with the cashmere content, as that fiber pills due to friction as well. For cost, we give it a score of 3 out of 5. For being a 50 gram skein, you can expect to pay $8 US per skein, meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $65 US. It's not the most cost effective yarn, however, if you're wanting to work with an acrylic yarn, purchasing a 100% acrylic yarn may be more budget friendly if that's what you're looking for. Overall, we give Cash Merino Erin a score of 3.1 out of 5. This yarn didn't bother my sensitive skin with knitting, which was great. I think I had a higher expectation for this yarn because of its cashmere content, but overall I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that the combination of both the merino and the cashmere contents would outshine the acrylic material, but unfortunately I didn't find that to be the case with this yarn. Have you used Cash Merino Erin by Debbie Bliss yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's review, please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.